Eyewitness News 3 continues. For over 100 years, the people of Rexburg have been shouting whoopee at the rodeo. This year, the rider you just saw, Ezra Terry, would later go on to win a trophy taller than he was, with a leading score of 82 points from his eight-second woolly ride. The mud and bustin' gave many just a taste of what was to come from the Whoopi Days Rodeo. Many people were looking forward to them bucking bulls, but others hoped to see something a little different. Bull riding. Bull riding. I think it's the, the most exciting. That it's, is the one where it gets crazy. I know bull riding gets the best rep, but uh, bareback's a little more dangerous, which makes it a little more exciting for me. Whoopi Days has started to develop an expectation from organizers based on previous years. While the rodeo was originally an Independence Day event, the event was moved this weekend in order to get more riders involved. Now the Madison County Fairgrounds are filled to the brim with people watching the fun, causing many to shout whoopee. Which, that is, just looks so exciting, honestly. That's make me look forward to, uh, what mm -hmm. is it, the War Bonnet. It's the War Bonnet riot that's coming out early in August. August, September. Yep. Very true. Early August. Too, well, so. did they have good weather today for the uh, Whoopi Days Rodeo? Absolutely. Well, a little bit. Uh, a little bit. If you were in Madison County, yes. Uh, we had a, quite a bit of rain showers throughout central Idaho today that are going to continue across those areas here for tomorrow. Slight chances of rain for everybody else, though.